Right, some information has just come my way and you guys need to fully understand this, okay? There is a link below this video. You go to that and it absolutely seriously simplifies filling in the digital ID consultation form which has been put out by the government, albeit for a very short time frame, which we talked about in a recent video, which I'm going to add at the end of this video, just to bring you guys up to speed if you are unaware of what was said. So that absolutely works because lots of people have contacted me and I have tried it myself. And yes, it's very, very difficult on purpose to fill in that consultation form to register your vote as it were. Here's another tip. This was passed on to me from um, a guy who emailed in a few days ago now and tried a few experiments with this consultation thing. Now, I don't know if anyone has put a video out there about this, so I urge you guys to share this video and far as wide as possible. What this guy tried, okay, got their phone, went on to register and to get through the process of doing this consultation and tried it without using their name and it was accepted. Tried it again using their name and it was denied because it was deemed that you've already registered without having a name. So automatically I think it's down to a phone number or something to do with technology with phones. So tried something else and this worked and it worked very well. A different SIM card, a different SIM card in the same phone, okay, went through the process and registered a number a vote or whatever you want to call it okay so when you when you consider that you can buy these pay-as-you-go sim cards for a pound or something like that and even if you already have lots of different sim cards with different numbers absolutely you can register as many times as you want to build that vote up and the only reason why this is being discussed right now is because of the urgency there is 13 days left before that window is closed regarding the digital id consultation now all around the world this is being heavily pushed and it's all linked to central bank digital currency it's all linked to 15 minute cities etc which i've done videos about so without the digital id they can't progress any further so this at the moment is the hot topic that everyone's talking about it needs to be stopped whatever we can to slow this down or indeed stop this process altogether it's going to be better than just doing nothing about it and just waiting for it to roll out and we're all going to be in serious trouble all of us so those are a few tips which was passed on to me which is um, i've been assured that it works absolutely fantastic and also the link below the video which will really help you filling in that form it will make it a breeze very fast very easy to understand because there is no way that the government are going to put a form for people to fill in and make it easy for us it's by design. It's designed that not many people fill it in and agree of it. But let me tell you this, this is so important, you may or may not realise it, but digital ID would be the beginning of the end. So like I said, the link below this video, please share this video far and as wide as possible. We really need to get lots of people on board with this. I've done it myself and yes, it works fine. So take care you guys. Together we're going to try and beat this thing. No matter how difficult it seems, there is always a way. Never forget that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky.